All right, welcome back, everyone. This one took me a little while to do the full video on. You might remember when I did the unboxing uh, a little bit ago from Ray over at uh, Everyday City Carry. This particular one bit me a little bit on the back of my finger. Yeah, you can, I, no, I don't know if you can see. Um, so I wanted to take my time. I kind of, I kind of put this one to the side. This is one that I won off of a giveaway that Ray did, and I'll put a link to his channel down below because, well, you know, it's the right thing to do. And small knives are kind of dangerous at times when I'm used to and familiar with handling larger knives. I know what to expect from a larger knife. So when I was opening these ones and I went to close it, it kind of slipped, it bit the back of my finger pretty good. And yeah, well, you know, it happens, right? It was kind of live TV, if you will. And so I just rolled with it, finished the unboxing, and then went and, uh, licked my wounds, so to speak. So anyway, here I am to do the actual video on this CJRB Swags Mylea. This is one that uh, Swags designed and she kind of got her notoriety in the knife community when she worked for Smoky Mountain Knife Works, as, as I understand it. And she's all over Instagram. She does some modeling stuff and a bunch of other jazz as well. She's designed this knife with C CJRB. And then she designed another folding knife with Kaiser. So let's talk about this little guy. And hope to God its taste for blood is in the past. For a super tiny small knife, it's actually super cool. Okay, I love the black G10 with the red pivot collar and the red thumb studs. Black and red is a great combination for me. Okay, the pocket clip, they did almost perfect. They at least used countersunk hardware, but they did not recess the clip into the scale. And I believe that's because, and I, and I understand because it is reversible left-handed or right-handed. I so I can I can I I can accept that. And it works very well in the pocket even without the clip being recessed into the uh, scale. This is a great knife for a woman because typically the female jeans pockets are super little tiny and they're going to not even fit your hand. This will fit. Okay, I didn't test them all. I didn't test any. But from what I understand, this will fit most women's jeans pockets. Okay? It absolutely fits in that little coin pocket, that fifth pocket of male jeans. It fits perfectly in there. So this could also be your backup knife, if you will, for your jeans. It does have thumb stud that works amazingly. Liner lock, excellent access to the liner lock. And it is actually a front flipper that has amazing action. Okay, it runs on ceramic bearings and it is so satisfying to front flip. Doesn't drop, drop shut, but controlled. Give it a shake or two, and it's down. Okay. In the hand, it's a three-finger grip, but it feels secure, feels locked in. There is, let me zoom out just a hair. There is a hot spot from the clip in my hand. Maybe I should have stayed zoomed in there. But... Yeah, the, the butt end or the top end of the pocket clip is a little hot spot there. But 
you can put your three fingers in and do a kind of more of a pinch or a top grip. You can pinch the thumb studs and then you have your three fingers on the scales, grabbing the thumb studs, pulling it towards you and locking it in place to do some fine detail stuff. I mean, this is a really, really cool knife. I, I mean, it's like, I don't know that I have anything really negative to say about it, even though it's too small for my hands. It still works. You can uh, reverse flick it, spidey flick it, middle finger flick it, whatever you want to call it. So it has multiple ways of opening, which is super cool. And it just feels good and solid. So let's talk a little bit about the specs. Three and a quarter inches closed. Five and a half overall. The blade is 2.38. The edge is 2.19. It is AR RPM 9 steel. AR RPM 9 steel? What the heck is that? I didn't know either. I had to look it up. It's uh, It was a powder steel created by Artisan um, a year-ish, two years ago, give or take. Um, it's a budget steel. It's, you know, it has some better characteristics than CPMD2. So, I, yeah, I, I'm not a metallurgist, but it's a decent, good budget steel. Uh, it does pick up some fingerprints, so maybe, you know, maybe more of a, a heavier stone wash on this instead of the satin blade might be cool, but okay. The blade thickness is 0 0.097. Overall thickness is 0.377, and it weighs in at 2.2 ounces. Super light. You forget about it in your little fifth pocket. And it's super sharp and cuts like crazy, as evident by it biting my finger, which even if you go back and look at the video, you may not be able to see it. But man, it, it cut good. I, I'm not going to lie. Super cool. It comes in a jade scale and a red scale as well. So there are a couple of different options. And it's like... Oh man, what was it? 30, 40 bucks or something? 35, 40 bucks on Blade HQ earlier today when I checked. So, yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. All right, rambled on enough. Let's do a couple of size comparisons here. The Sharpie, it's almost exactly the same length. It's a hair bigger than the Sharpie. Spider Codelica. It's all kind of dirty on the blade because I've opened some boxes with it recently. And I don't care. This is kind of my one of my working knives. Quiet Carry Waypoint. Also got some smudge on the blade. Uh, for giggles, how about the Benchmade 940? And for even more giggles, the Hellraiser P Series. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. The CR, CJRB Swags Mylea uh, Front Flipper. Awesome, awesome knife that I am pretty excited to have now that I've spent some more time with it. Um, this will next be going down to Alex at Alex's Knife Box. I've got some other knives of his here I need to send back, and he has wanted to check this one out for a while. So I'm going to send it down to him, and we'll get to hear what he thinks about it. And uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. Watch his channel for that because you're going to want to hear if we have a similar opinion or different. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow.